morning or oh, I was having a little bit of a rest there. We've reached day seven. I don't know about you, but I'm a little bit tired. So I was just having some 40 winks. Oh, anyway, we'd better start doing day seven. Oh, come on, put the blanket down there. Don't fall over the dog. All right, let's get behind our table where we've been for the last seven days nearly. Oh, right. Day seven. We're doing rest. I think we need it. What about you? Oh, so let's see what God said about it. We just wake up. Oh, wake up. Wake up, Liz. Okay. So on day seven, this is what the Bible says. It said, so the sky and the earth and all that filled them were finished. So by the seventh day, God finished all the work that he'd been doing. So on the seventh day, God had a little rest. Can't blame him really, can you? He blessed the seventh day and that is the important thing. He blessed the seventh day and he made it a holy day. He made it holy because on that day he rested. He rested from all the work he had done in creating the world. So God wasn't just resting though because he was tired. He rested because he was finished with some really important work he'd done. He was satisfied that he'd done a really good job. He also had told Adam and Eve that they'd done a really good job too. And they had the beautiful Garden of Eden. And that's what they had to look after. So that's why our day seven says rest. So I thought we could have a go at making it. So I was gonna show you what I'd done. Here we go. Here's the word. So on my circle of card, on my plate, I don't know if you can see that, Paul, I've written the word rest. And then, in my usual fashion of doing too much glue, I am going to put some glue into my paws. I left it over from yesterday, actually. So perhaps I could use some up. We even left the paints over from yesterday because we need it. We need them later too. So here we go. So I'm doing, and this is going to be quite hard for you to see, but I'm just gluing down the letters. So I'm just going down my T, my T, just like that. And then I've got some sequins. Now you could do anything. You could have just some scraps of card. And if you haven't got anything to stick, you could just do some fancy letters. I'll show you all my other one in a minute, what you could do. I'm only gonna to do today, I think, one letter, just to show you how you can do it with sticky things. And then, because I'm also gonna get them all stuck all over my fingers, <laughs> which is nothing unusual, I know. So you could do one like this. This is a bit like the one I've done over there. Okay. Oh, I think we need, I've got a smiley face one here. I think we need a smiley face, don't we? So we've got the love as well. It's quite good actually this one, because I've got the flowers and the stars. So that's pretty awesome, isn't it? So really are creation looking. So there's another thing you could do. Then also you could do, let me get out my trusty pen here. I was gonna turn it round because it's easier for me to do. But you could write the word, and again, if you find it difficult to do these letters, you could always ask an adult to help you. That's not a problem. You could write the word rest like that. I've only got three colours out here, but then if you wanted to, you could just colour them in. Couldn't you? Like this. And you could just, all you could do is you could do one that's a solid colour, like this one. My colouring is not very good upside down, is it, guys? I always tell you to keep in the lines, and look what I'm doing. I'm going out of the lines. But hey ho, it is upside down. Perhaps your challenge should be to see if you can do this upside down too. So there's that. Or you could decide to do some, some stripes. And if I do this with some stripes, I'll get out another, it's a bit like a candy cane, isn't it? Reminds me of Christmas in August. Here we go. Here we go. 
So you could do that or you could choose if you wanted to to even decorate it with little flowers like that let's do it all the way up shall we i was going to say let's let's stop now but we might as well finish it so there's your little flowers and then your final one you could do some hearts like that couldn't you Now also, God rested, didn't he, on the seventh day? Just like me, I was having what we call 40 winks. So you could do some little Zs, because God's resting. How about that? So you've got the choice. Okay, guys, so we've decorated our plates with the word rest, whether we've done lots of sticking on them or we've colored them in, or perhaps we've painted them. It didn't really matter, did it? As long as it had the word rest on and those little Zs. So now, our next thing I thought we could do is related to sleep. When we all go to bed, we all sleep on a pillow. So I have a pillowcase here, and I thought it would be great fun if you painted the pillowcase. Now, if you use normal paints, that's absolutely fine. Just remember not to put it in the washing machine. But if you use fabric paints, of course you'd be able to wash it. I've, we're gonna use normal paints on ours, so we're gonna use it as a picture. So what you need to do is get a plain pillowcase and then you need to get some paper or some card and put it in the side the pillowcase because if you don't do that when you paint on it it will go all the way through so you're going to put your paper in just like that and there's your pillowcase with your paper in and you can paint i thought a full creation scene on it or perhaps your favorite thing about creations if you like animals you can put animals on it you might want to put a big sun or some flowers on it but jess is now going to show you what she painted on hers so our artist in residence jess is just showing you guys how to paint creation onto your pillowcase so just put a piece of card or thick few bits of thick paper in the pillowcase so it doesn't go all the way through. And by the looks of things, she's painted, I know I'm showing this upside down, which is really going to confuse you. Am I showing it upside down, Jess, or will you better turn it round when it goes on? <laughs> but anyway, if it's upside down, I apologise. But we are, she's got the grass and she's painted the sea and of the sky with the clouds in so she's got everything realistically from days days one two and three we've even got mountains in this jess that's pretty awesome i assume they're mountains are they mountains they are meant to be yes yes they are that's awesome hey so there we go guys Brilliant. Look at that. And the river going down into the sea. What more can we ask for? Fish. Oh, we could do some fish, couldn't we? What colour shall we do the fish? I was going to say blue. But... You can't do blue fish, won't show up. What about red fish? I quite like colour red. Or you could do orange fish and do Nemo's. I don't have an orange paint. Oh, there is an orange paint down in the bag. We're now going to do orange ones because we like Nemo, don't we, guys? Mind you, I bet some of you prefer Dory to Nemo. Who's your favourite, Jess? Mine's definitely Nemo. Or actually, no, I'll tell you what it is. Is it, what, what's the, the birds that go mine, 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 mine? The seagulls. The seagulls. We could put some seagulls in the sky, couldn't we? Is that, I'll is that, do that in a minute. Thank you. That's our bird, you see, so we're going to have our seagulls. We've got some fish. Pretty awesome. They're going, of course, Jess is painting this, but that's because we realistically, we actually had the paints out. Um, but you could do this with pen as well, especially if you've got like some permanent markers. Um, and if you've got, of course, if you've got 
fabric paint, you could do it with that as well. Because obviously this will not tolerate going through the washing machine. And if you did put it in the washing machine, your mum and dad might get a little bit upset because it would dye everything else, those colours, and obviously your picture will be ruined. So this one is just literally for display only. Or you could use it, but obviously the paint could come off on your face and that would not be a good idea. Oh, I'm going for red now. Shall I show you? Look, red now. Oh, we were going. Me. Oh, we're shaking the red. There we go. What are we going to put? What are we going to paint red? You reckon? Hey, okay, we're putting some flowers on. I'm going for another flower. I like flowers. Yeah, you can choose whatever colour you want. Jess has done red, but you could do orange, blue, yellow. Oh, she put yellow bits in. So I was about to say you could do a yellow flower. You could do whatever. And any, any design on flower that you like. I like those. They look like really big sort of daisies. Well, she now, I'm just telling you, look, I'm showing this. She's mixing the red with the green. We're going to see what, what comes out. I think this is to do the stalks to make it like a little bit darker for her. Because obviously stalks are often a greeny, browny colour, but you can't put green on green. So she's done. There you go. That's rather clever, Jess. Hey, what, what do you reckon? Need? Well, we really need animals. What do you like? What do you like drawing animals? You can draw the e fish. Yeah, but that Some was that. Birds? But they were a different day to the animals. The animals came with the human beings on day six. Huh. So you need to do the mammals that lived on Earth. So, so you, it's, it's your choice. You could do an ant, I suppose. What do you fancy It'll drawing? Be very out of proportion. Okay, so um, an elephant, a giraffe. Let's go with an elephant. We're going to do an elephant, guys. Not that they live in this climate, but. Yeah, I know, but. There we go, there's the... There's the elephant. There we go, you see? What's it missing, guys? You want to tell Jess? Yep, yeah, it's missing a trunk, Jess. <laughs> I was getting there. We know you were getting there. There we go. Look at that, we've got an elephant. Now... So that's, that's, your, that's your animal, Jess. I bet you're going to put an eye on it or something, yeah, aren't you? Yeah. yeah, she likes to have put eyes on her animals so they can see everything. Um, God created man. Now, if it's me, it's a stick man, so I'm more than happy for you to do a stick man. She's nodding, so the whole phone that I'm recording this on is probably nodding as well. There we go. There's our man. He's even washing his feet. Oh, hang on. Are we doing Eve as well? We're doing Eve. Brilliant. Now, what about doing a little tree? Can you, could you actually do a little tree for me? <laughs> no, it's fine. That in will what, do. No, I can, but where would you like it? To the left of the elephant would be really good. To the left of the elephant. Uh, yeah. Um, hmm. yeah. Like the elephant could be picking the apples out of the tree, couldn't he? Or is it a she elephant? Um, I mean, I think it's a baby elephant. I mean, oh, it's, it's a baby elephant. People. It's a baby <laughs> elephant. Oh, there's our tree. Well, that's not that's our tree trunk. I'm assuming. There you go. That makes me happy. Thanks, Jess. There we go, guys. Absolutely brilliant. Thanks ever so much, Jess. And guys, that's what you need to do today. So remember to send me your pictures in. Yep. Okay, so this is what Jess created. I think it's pretty amazing, isn't it? She decided to do a full creation scene for her day of rest. Now, what you've got to remember, as I said earlier, is if you do it with normal paint, you can't wash this because it will just disappear and dye everything else in your washing machine, blue, green, black, gray, 
orange whatever okay if you use fabric paints there's a way of doing it that will actually work because you can seal them in often by ironing them or putting a sealant on okay so if this is just like jesse's one this is now going to be just for decoration okay so hopefully you can do that and then I have a bit more comfortable sleep with my 40 winks over there so i'm going to put that down and just tell you again just to remind you where you've got to send your pictures in today to so send your pictures into louisa.adams at stpaulscam.co.uk and then i'll put them on our facebook page so that's those bits but now it's time for your challenge day of rest now on a day of rest i don't know about your family but I know that I really love it when my children were able to cook me something or I didn't have to think about perhaps going out and, out and putting the washing on the line or sweeping the floor or tidying the bedrooms. So I thought on a day of rest you could give the adults you live with a little bit of a rest. Now earlier on last week we made some cookies didn't we? So perhaps you could make the dinner. Perhaps, if you're a little bit smaller than that, you could help with the washing up or clearing the table. I'll leave it up to you, but what I'm going to say is if you want to make dinner, asking your parents to take you down to McDonald's doesn't count. Okay, guys? However much you might want it, it doesn't count. But you never know, you might get it as a treat one day. So I'm going to leave you with all your activities today. And then you're going to say to me, but hang on, Louisa, we've got three more days left and we've already created the world. We have. I know we have. So what we're going to go and do is see for the next three days how we can look after that world. So we're going to have fun with, with junk. Um, we're going to have fun with water. OK, and we're going to have fun with glue and paint yeah. all over again. So today is Tuesday. Tomorrow is Wednesday. So I will see you bright and early Wednesday morning on YouTube.